Hello friends, so today we can discuss this question from Lead Code Weekly Contest 182, problem number 1394, find lucky integer in an array. Given an array of integers, ARR, a lucky integer is an integer which has a frequency in the array equal to its value. Return the lucky integer in the array. If there are multiple integers, return the largest one of them. If there is no integer, lucky integer, you have written minus. So as you can see, in this, 2 has occurred 2 times. So this is a lucky integer. In this, 3 has occurred 3 times. In this, 3 has occurred 2 times and 2 has occurred 3 times. So there is no lucky integer. Okay. So what we can easily do in this question is, we can make a map and store the frequencies all of the characters because the length is very small. And then we will iterate over the map and check whether the value of the map is equal to its frequency. I hope you understand because if the frequency is equal to its value, it's a lucky number. And we also find out whether it's the largest or not. Okay. So what we can easily do here is we can make a map of integers. Then we will iterate over. dot size and what we will do is map of ar of i plus plus which will store all the values in the map okay now for finding out the lucky number we will initialize the lucky number with minus one and then we will do you will use the auto character to iterate over the map. You will iterate over the map and then if i dot first, which is the value of the map, if it's equal to i dot second, which is the frequency, we will just make val equal to i dot second. But how it does this ensure that we are storing the largest one? Because we are not breaking out of this loop at any time, we are moving on and on. And so like if we find out one lucky number, we are moving ahead and then if we find out a larger lucky number because the map it is sorted and when we will move from the smallest to the greatest, if we find out another lucky number, we will also store it in the value. And then after that, when we move through this file loop, when we, like, we have completed this for loop, we will return value. Accepted. I hope you understand the logic. It's a very simple problem. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. Thank you for watching this video and keep coding. Bye.